right, guys. So now we're gonna we're gonna get it prepped for paint. All I'm using is I have a sponge here that I got at an automotive paint shop. It's a thousand grit. I think uh, AutoZone has some kind of foam that you can also buy there. That's some good stuff. But if you're not too uh, confident with the 1000 and you want to dig in too deep, you can go higher or just wet sand it. But the key here is to uh, go in circles and let the sandpaper do the work. And you can see here's not, there's no deep scratches in it. It's just all we're doing is getting a surface prepped in order for the paint to stick. And you can do this on the whole car and do circle, uh, circular motions. Don't be going up and down, you know, just, you don't want to get those deep cuts. And then for around the windows, you could get a sanding stick. If you don't have a sanding stick, you could just, you know, go uh, get it from your wife or, you know, the female in your family and get a, a nail polish uh, on one of these. Get the use for the nails, and that'll work too. This will help right here. Clean up the, the sharp edges, the straight lines. But if you can, get some sanding sticks, it helps a lot. So we'll get that going, and then uh, we'll go on to the next step. So now we have it sanded down, we got it prepped. We have a little nice scuff. Uh, we have it scuffed pretty good. That way the paint sticks. Uh, also don't forget to scuff it in here, sand it down on the inside. That way when that when you prime it with the, the primer and the paint, it'll stick on the inside too. That way uh, it doesn't peel or chip at the ends. The ends will be very, they won't take too much paint. It's gonna be very thin. So these are going to be crucial to get, you know, get it sanded down on the inside and on his lips right here. So we already had it prepped, but there was one thing I had to fix, this hood right here. It wasn't staying in place. It didn't come with um, a support right here, somewhere where the hood could lay down onto. So we had to make that. It's pretty easy. Just get some thin styrene, cut it the size that you want, and then just put it on there with some Tamiya cement. And now you got a lip there, and that lip will help this hood stay in place. And that's going to help when we start laying down the patterns. It'll help a lot. But all right, the next step is just getting it cleaned up. We'll wash it down with some Dawn soap. Spray it dry and then start shooting some uh, primer. <laughs> 